Come on, guys. Come on. Get going. Good boys. Ah, yes. So, it's the day after the truck show. We're feeling good. One more full day at home. Tomorrow we have to get back on the road. We're heading to Regina. I have to leave midday or so to deliver on Tuesday. It was a beautiful day for a truck show yesterday. Or a truck meet. I look forward to it every year. It's like the gathering of all the local truckers. Mostly working trucks that are there, right? It's not really a show and shine, but it's a show and shine of what you got and what you work every day, right? So this tree, I'm not sure if I've shown you yet or not. I pulled it out. That's all that's left of it over there. <laughs> We're replacing it. With that. What do you think, Diesel? We bought this weeping willow. And this is gonna be our tree, like our family tree that we planted the first summer in this house that we can watch grow together along with our family. The soil back here towards the fence is very wet. A lot of, uh, it's a very low lying ground, I guess, which is good because the water runs away from the house. Ends up back here and makes the soil pretty wet. So we had to get a moisture tolerant tree and a weeping willow is perfect for that. We're gonna take that and we're gonna build a little mound there, probably about six inches high, so about as wide as that circle, maybe, without the bricks. And we're gonna plant the tree in there. That's our project for today. That's the only thing we got planned for today, really. Maybe we'll go for a bike ride or something too. It's been a long time at home. Uh, the truck is obviously finally out of the shop. Had it at the truck show yesterday. It got quite a bit of work done to it. And it's all, the annual safety is all good for another year. And uh, just waiting for the bill now. They have to send me the invoice for it. See how much money I spent. How you doing, Weasel? Doing good, old man? Did you leave something back there for me? That's okay. It happens to the best of us. I'll go get it. I don't remember the last time I've gone this long without making any videos. A week. I keep having these thoughts going through my head. I'm like, oh, I gotta post the video. I gotta make the video. I gotta edit the video. But at the same time, it's nice just to take a little breather. But we'll be back to it. Daily videos starting, I guess, today. Back on the road starting tomorrow. Come on, old man. You hungry? I got some breakfast for you inside. Diesel, are you hungry? Just gonna walk right by the food? Should have dug out that old soil bark mixture before we brought the new dirt in. Then I could use the wheelbarrow for this, but take out all of that dirt and put it along the outskirts of the fence where there's a big gap so that there's less of a gap for us to cover once we fix all those pieces on the bottoms that the dogs can't get under there. So we found these extra bricks beside our shed on the other side over there. And they just so happened to be exactly what we needed. So someone must have been planning for this or this was an old fire pit, I don't know. Doesn't look like it was ever burned. We have just enough for another ring, but we figure that it's too high. Seemed like overkill. It looked like a second bonfire pit. So we're going with two. And I think it finishes it and makes it look a little fancier. Get this old stuff out of here. At least some of it. Stuff. Yeah. So yeah, free bricks. Those things are expensive. Very excited about this. Chevy, are you excited about having a new tree? Frank looks pretty excited. Hey, buddy. Hey, little man. Hi. Hello. Diesel, how's the sun? Clearly, it's very relaxing. That's right. Living his best life. Hey? Eh? <laughs>
Go in the shade for a bit, bud. Or go grab some water. It's right over here. Weenie. My 14-year-old. He had a birthday a couple days ago. Very special. He's still pretty, uh, pretty spry for an old guy. So it's a nice warm day to get this done. We got all the old dirt out. I think. A lot of it anyway. Yeah. Now we're gonna fill it with some new dirt, pack it in. Then go get the tree. Put the tree in, and then fill it up some more with some dirt around it yet, make it a bit of a mound. Yeah, give it its best chance. We don't know what we're doing. Like every other project you've seen us do. <laughs> we're just hoping for the best and planning for the worst. Just winging it. Just winging it. Got a little bit down there now. Just been packing it down. Like that. Now we got some bone meal fertilizer. Brit's getting over there. I'm gonna put that on the bottom. And as we put the tree in, we're gonna put it around it as well. And fill it in with more dirt. And I'll fill it all up nicely. We're gonna have way too much dirt. I still have like over half my pickup truck filled with dirt. So I don't know what we're gonna do with the rest of it. Probably fill in our low spots around the fence is what I'm thinking. But we'll worry about this first. See if we can make a tree survive. So what is this that we got here? I think it's just nutrients for the soil, like nitrogen, phosphoric acid, calcium. Can I see the front? Okay. Yeah, I guess if I did a perennial garden, I would need this stuff too, so. Maybe in the future I won't kill everything I touch, we'll see. I keep dogs and babies and husbands alive, so there's hope for me yet for plants. Frankie, don't jump in the hole. Okay. Well, they told us how to get this out of here. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. <laughs> Loose already. Yeah. I need your help. I was just gonna take off the. There we go. Okay, so just put it down. This is for now. Yeah. He said we want to separate some of the roots at the bottom a wee bit. Yeah. This is nice too. Oh, don't break off the branches. Okay. So now we're gonna. Just plop it down in there just till we get it to the right height. We'll add a little bit of dirt as we go, as we need it, till we get it to the right height. We want the top of that dirt to be an inch or two or a couple inches above the level of the bricks, because it's gonna be a little bit of a mound, right? So we'll have to add more dirt in there, get that at the right height, and that'll be that. Then we got two stakes that go on either side of this thing as well that hold it straight. Well, she's in the ground. Got to get some more soil from the pickup out front yet. Finish filling this up. And then we got to put the stakes in the ground here beside it on either side. And we got a staking kit for it so it'll hold it up straight so it won't be hanging over like that so much. And hopefully, hopefully we did this right. And we want it to be our family tree that as we grow here in this house, we, we don't want to move again, that's the whole point. 
I know everybody laughs at us when we say that, but we're actually dead serious. We don't want to move again. So that tree will be the tree we planted our first summer here when Theo was one year old. So when Theo's 20 years old and he comes home, that tree should still be standing and fully grown just like him. And maybe we'll plant another one if we have a second one eventually. <laughs> maybe, we'll see. See how this one takes first. I got big plans for this one in the future. We'll see. There's no, nothing on the way yet. No news there. None. Josh didn't tell you. I didn't want to make this the sad part. Oh, sorry. But I guess we can share it with you since Britt's here. Um, so we uh, did that egg retrieval, right? And uh, she went through, through hell. And zero embryos made it. It was soul crushing. Thankfully, we have Theo. If that had happened the first time, I don't know what I would have done. But yeah, mm -hmm. zero embryos, all that suffering and money and time and nothing so so yeah we uh i, I kind of forgot that i didn't mention it to you guys already i didn't want to add more pain uh to our lives and have to explain it all online have her watch it while i was on the road that nothing happened because it's very hard i did not take it well it was not an easy spring but i'm better now but yeah so that was it was all for nothing this time we might try again uh, next year, but we still have one embryo in the freezer. Remember that? Theo's twin from uh, his batch. And uh, we're going to try that transfer later this year. And hopefully hope for a second then. But as of right now, the IVF was unsuccessful. Didn't want to put a sad damper right on the middle of this vlog, but <laughs> it is what it is. You guys need Family to know. Life. People were asking at the truck show yesterday and I realized, oh, I haven't told you guys yet. <laughs> Yeah. I gotta break the bad news to them. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't bounce back from the hormones well this time either. Last time was a breeze. This time was not. I'm not sure because my body has changed because I've gone through a pregnancy or because I'm older now. Like, I'm going to be 35 next month. I don't know, but it was not a walk in the park this time. Yeah, very difficult. So, we won't address it further. But yeah, uh, it is what it is. Didn't, didn't work out. Moving on. We're going to keep planting this tree because it's a happy thing. It's a happy thing. It's our family tree. It's sort of our <laughs> Theo tree. I'm really excited when he comes home, uh, like in the summertime to visit when he's 20, 25 years old. I'm hoping that tree is still alive and thriving. So that, uh, I don't know, I think, I always wanted to do that. I always wanted to plant a tree for one of our kids or when we got a new house. Mr. Sentimental, placing symbolism on trees. I just wanted a pretty tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. This is our steak kit. It also comes with this wrap that you wrap around the base of the trunk for winter. So we'll save that for winter. It comes with two steaks and the uh, cables and protection for the tree. So we can keep it standing, hopefully. I don't know what I'm doing. How often do you think they hear that from us? Oh, they should just know it by now. I never know what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. Isn't that what we said when we brought Theo home? <laughs> we did pretty good though. Yeah. Well, He's a healthy baby. First time parents never know what they're doing. No. And that's okay. You learn. Okay, so I gotta drive those stakes down a little further yet, but we're done with the dirt for now. Gently packed it in. We'll wait for it to rain and we gotta water it too. See how much it compacts. And once it compacts, we'll add some more in if we have to. Just gonna nail those things down. A little bit further, hook the tree up to it, and then we're done. I don't know guys, did we do it right? I mean, we tied them together as close as we could at the top. as high as we can go on it. It's still leaning forward a little bit, but I think we got it sitting nice and straight at least, right? I mean, she is a weeping willow. She's in a bow a little bit. Yeah. All right, hope for the best. 
I present to you Myrtle. For those of you who have watched Harry Potter, you'll get it. If you know, you know. We adjusted her a bit. We changed our mind. It was leaning to the front too much and I figured this gave a better stability having one at the back instead of on the side. So we can adjust it as the year goes on too, just to make sure it keeps growing straight. But we'll let it take root like this right now. It's standing good. Tall, it's probably what, about 14 feet tall? Five feet. You're five feet. It's over ten. I'd say it's about 14, 15 feet tall. Yeah. 14 maybe. I don't know how old she is. Maybe three, four, five years old. I'm guessing about four years. There she is. Weeping Myrtle. <laughs> just Myrtle. Yeah. Just Myrtle. She's a weeping willow, but her name is just Myrtle. Myrtle. So everybody, cross your fingers, cross your toes. Send us your prayers, your hopes, your dreams for Myrtle. Positive green thumb vibes. Anything you want to send our way that'll help her grow. Yeah. All right, so evening has come. We've had supper already. It's time for Myrtle's first watering. We just bought this uh, extendable hose. When you fill it up, it expands to 100 feet. But when it's not pressurized, it shrinks down to about 30 feet. That's a hundred feet? Well, it's getting heavy. It could have come straighter out, but... Okay, right. here we go. There it goes. Look at that. Oh, big day. Let her drink it up, Myrtle. It's getting good on the other side? Yep. We'll probably have a dozen comments or so about how we're doing it wrong. Oh yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> we are not professionals. That's what the internet's good for. Yeah, the internet's all well, It's pretty simple. You put a plant on the ground, you give it water, it grows. Mm-hmm. So that's all fresh soil in there too, so it won't have any moisture in it. But it goes pretty deep down in there. I don't think I'm going to saturate it too much because it's going to rain throughout the week too. So you'll be able to see in future videos when I am filming at home how that thing grows. So remember what it looks like now. It's supposed to be fast growing. I don't know what that means exactly in plant language. I don't know what fast growing means. Is uh, uh, two feet a year, five feet a year? Is it like bamboo? I'm fast sure growing? We could, we could look it up on the interwebs. Yeah, I'm not sure what to expect, but it's going to be a big like. It's supposed to be about thirty to forty feet high and thirty to forty feet wide. It's like a big, a weeping willow. You guys know what those trees are, right? And that's it. All the pressure's out. So, that's how long it is now, from here to here. Yeah, about 30 feet. And it'll stretch out to 100 feet. We had it, it got wrapped around the, the sump pump line there. That's why it didn't go as far, but it goes way out there. I like that a lot better because it's much easier to store then. But you gotta make sure you drain it after every time. Otherwise, it stays expanded, it stays stretched out. I made that mistake with my other one. You have a good night, Myrtle. Don't be too sad. That's it for today. Just a little uh, update on our yard here. We had planned to, we had planned from last year already when we moved in here to do that this summer. So that's a big thing checked off my list. I guess I am a little sentimental like that, like Britt said. It's our family tree. I wanted to watch it grow as our family grew. So it was important to me to plant it this summer. So. Keep tuning in. When I get home, I'll give you updates on it. And we'll see how it see how it grows. See if I can keep it alive. 
Chevy will help me, right? <laughs> so good night, everybody. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. We're hitting the road tomorrow. I uh, headed out west. So we'll be at the truck in the morning, get that all ready and set up, and then head out. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that button for me, and I'll see you in my next video.